Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of the I Warhammer podcast, where I am joined with you, Craig, Dale, David, who probably won't speak this episode again, Tim, Zach, and me, your most loved host. Anyway, Craig is so, a lie. Craig is a lie. So we have <laughs> a bunch more topics than we did last time, so we're not going to spiral into insanity. Like, we do. take it off, Rogel. I have to scroll through all the at podcasts, because... <laughs> God dang it. We all basically, <laughs> <laughs> we all basically Get forgot. your attention. We all yeah, we were a little late blamed. today, so we kept spamming each other. Yes, and I, I had together. to get I had to get their attention and and mention everyone like a thousand plus times. Yeah. Remember how we had that a uh, positive vibes uh, podcast last time? Well, no, good no. news! Literally, there's a website hosted like a doc org that is hosted to nothing more than finding good news throughout all like news articles and stuff. And making it so you can just easily find the good news for today. That's good. What is the good news for today? Nothing. Uh, Nothing. <laughs> it's a blank page. It says, well, <laughs> you follow it. Magic Con Show. What is the good news today? Nothing. It's like the good news is that, uh, like, Israel gained more land in Palestine or whatever. Hey now, buddy. That's kind of racist, don't you think? That's that sure is anti-Semitic to make a joke. Don't worry. <laughs> we're a joke. Don't worry. We're not a we're we're a joking podcast. We don't say anything serious. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah it's, everything, uh, everything we say is a little satire. Um, uh, don't don't take away our shekels, please. <laughs> don't take away Actually, our. Actually, the most recent article on the goodnewsnetwork.org, which I'll we'll make sure to put the link in the description, was uh. Well, at the time, was about the fifth quantum, like the fifth quantum element, like for quantum physics discovered. Oh yeah, I heard about that. But yeah, good news in history, June six. What I can't remember if they did or not, but the good news for today was forty years ago today, the Blue Brothers with John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd premiered in Chicago. I don't really think that counts. That's like <laughs> that's just an anniversary of something. It's not like something good yeah. happened that day. This like today. Well, well I was right. Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> Explain to me the fifth quantum element. I would love to know what that is. Yeah, this is this if is a special anything. topic for our Warhammer podcast that is very pertinent to whether or not you know Gilliman ends up accidentally destroying the empire or something. It's like it's like a it's like a scientist. Oh yeah, it was a quantum fifth state of matter observed in fate in a outer space for the first time. On... Wait, the fifth state of matter is quantum? Like it, it's not quantum something. It it, it just is quantum. I have no. That's idea. just the title of the article. I'm not sure how accurate it is. At this point, no. the atoms become a single entity within the quantum properties. Where an inch the particle also functions as a wave of matter. On the really, both really... Einstein condensates or BECs, the existence of which was predicted by Albert Einstein and an Indian mathematician, Sayatriya Nathan Bose, almost a century ago, are formed when atoms of certain elements are cooled to near absolute zero. Kelvin. They could have literally just said or, they didn't have to add the mathematician that no one knows. <laughs> Math also, cringe. Also, it'd be funny if like you like I ask a scientist and they're like, oh yeah, we discovered warp travel. You what? What? Right. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh dear God, 40k is the future. Oh dear Wait, God. David, David lives. Why? Wait, yeah, so David I'm lives. Take care of something the game. Be nice to lose. Hey, we actually have <laughs> No, well, five. Not Craig. You don't count. Fuck you. Craig. Yeah, yeah, Craig. Fuck you. You're fuck fucking you, Craig. Fuck. <laughs> devote you, Craig, our, your devote the rest. Devote, devote the rest of the podcast to roasting Dave. No, not Dave. I mean, I'm <laughs> uh, Craig. Fuck you, Craig. If you had a physical appearance, I'd keep you in a box. 
<laughs> what is funny is what we got to do. What, what we got to do one day is we need to uh, we need to go through Turkish news. Those are that's some insane stuff. Like there was this one, like there was this one headline where people were actively trying to stop ambulances. <laughs> because, no, listen. Let me let me explain. Because they figured out that a lot of rich people will just buy an ambulance and blast it so they can get through traffic. I mean. Wow, that is such a turkey thing. <laughs> really hey, Turkish turkey. news. I gotta censor that one. <laughs> so, uh, oh, jeez. What was that one thing? I think it was like it was Borat or something. They they cross into Syria and they say we've only been out of Turkey for five minutes and life is already better for us. <laughs> I want to go to Turkey, not because like I want to because... visit the town of Batman. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Batman! I just wanna, I just wanna eat their food. I have a pie. It's gonna be made by like... a guy with really hairy arms. You're gonna be eating ninety five percent hair. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Wait, where that comes from. Wouldn't that also be Greeks because Greeks are very hairy. Greeks and Turks yeah, same are difference. similar. Uh, yeah, they're from the same region, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the western, the western coast of Turkey is very Greek. I, I would think. Oh yeah, June twenty first, the uh, dark sigil appears in the sun. Yeah, I heard about that one. That's gonna be fun. That's only three days away. No, four or five. Uh, five. <laughs> it's the sixteenth. <laughs> Do the math. I didn't know what day it was, buddy. Okay, I don't oh, guys, wake up every day. He's a Texan. He doesn't know how to <laughs> He knows when the sun's up and when the sun's down. Yes, that's it. Okay, that is so the extent of my knowledge. Before we, before <laughs> we just start jumping all over the place, let's uh, go to our next topic, which I wanted to talk about personally because I think it'd be really fun predicting the rest of 2020. Oh boy! So okay, so anyway, we haven't had our. <laughs> we haven't had our okay. Doomer episode yet, so I'm just gonna say everyone dies. <laughs> and everyone dies. Yeah. Well, that's not fun. You have to get into that's it. Like a comic I would have made when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone dies. Grim dark. I used everyone to be a, dies. I used to be a weird kid because whenever I first got my like 3DS or DSI, I forgot which one. Uh, it had like the it had like the flip notes thing. Oh my god! I used that so much when I was a kid. I made like some really like stupid like battle stuff with it, and it looked really shitty. <laughs> That's kind of what I would do, but like everyone else's looks so cool, but mine were just crappy stick figures just killing each other. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, nope. Exactly. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> so I feel like I'm not alone. Listening Back. to Green Day in the background. Uh, Crawling in my crawl. Oh, those, uh, oh, 2009. What an yep. era. Can we go back to 2009? Uh, yeah. or... Well, you know, they say when you, uh, when you die, time slows down and you relive your entire life. So there's a chance that at the end of 2020, yes, we will be at 2009 at one point or another. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because wow. everyone dies. Don't give us hope. <laughs> So, okay, so January we had World War Three, which was a stupid statement on its own because I'm pretty sure Iran isn't going to get half the world on its side. Oh, no, yeah, I don't think anybody would have supported Iran. Allies, at best, Russia, but they're trading, like, military-wise. Russia will sell their equipment, so... Is that really enough to, for them to get into war? No, no it's not. No. Russia wouldn't go to war. Russia wouldn't go to war. Russia is just going to give, like, sell them guns so they can get money, essentially. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Russia, they're going to want the war just so they can make money off it. Why get involved? Fully? Russia would never get involved just for Iran. I mean, they didn't even get involved with, they didn't even really get involved with Vietnam. Yeah. No, that was more, was that more China's thing? Yeah, or, it was China. Yeah, Chi well, China, mostly well, the other thing, China though, China is that China involved. invaded Vietnam immediately after the U.S. left. <laughs> and they failed, too. Uh oh <laughs> Man. <laughs> they, 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 
Those Vietnamese in the trees kick everyone's ass. Man, February. You want to talk about kicking ass? Talk about Afghanistan. Butt. February. We've been wow. trying to invade Afghanistan since Alleg- Alexander the Great, and nobody has done it yet. At I one mean, point, Alexander England claims successful. they have done it. I mean, Alexander was successful. There were a lot of people that say they were successful, but they either just marched through there or claimed they were successful with absolutely no proof about it. So I, I would doubt that Alexander the Great actually managed to get anything done. Look, how many failures of Afghanistan has there been? I know there's like, like I remember the Soviet failure, the our failure, the British have failed. Our, definitely, the British have failed like three times. The Brit Bong failure. Um, I th- did India or was no not India? I think the British used India to try and invade Afghanistan. Uh, Russia's tried several times. Russia, the British, America. I think either the Chinese or the Mongols. Oh, the if it was the Mongols, they would have just walked through during the time of Genghis Khan. Yeah, the Mongols would have just took walked it right on through it. it. It must not have been the Mongols then, because I think, like, throughout all of history, nobody has actually managed to conquer Afghanistan. Because most people are like, eh, no thanks, we don't want anything to do with that. I mean, it's a, it's like a silver road from India to Russia, though, that connect two world superpowers, but, like... It's hell. <laughs> yeah, Claiming that India is the world superpower. <laughs> India is the wor- <laughs> India world superpower okay. 2020. Despite their awful TikToks, but they still shit in the streets. No, here's the here's the thing. So, like, whenever India was becoming like you know a lot bigger, uh, they refused to take sides because of how isolated they were. Like, they they hated. Well, they didn't hate every other country, but they kept to themselves. So, America tried getting them on their side, but they didn't want. They didn't budge. And Russia tried getting on their side, but they didn't budge. They were more communistic because of their caste system, but they never truly. Wait, isn't but isn't a caste system like a direct opposition to communism? No, mm. isn't it like you're just it depends bored into whatever because caste everyone in there because everyone in those caste systems are the same. Yeah, but they but the thing is though, uh, communism is directly opposed to um, social classes. Yeah, but Russia had social classes, and they were supposed to be the the communist country. Well, that's the whole argument about what is and isn't really communism or socialism and whatnot, and it's just such a tired and played out argument that I don't feel but like having right now. But it's communism because it didn't work, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I know. I don't, I don't even know where I was going with that. India's really neat. I'd like to go there. But mainly because of what's at their McDonald's and their street food. You know what they have at McDonald's? You they keep a... wanting to go to all of these really poor middle of nowhere countries. Like, I really want to try their street food. It's like, what is wrong? Do you want intestinal parasites? No, I'm not just wanting to go to these places. I still want to go to places like Britain, France, like Europe. I've it's been just... to... Let's see, I've been to Britain, I've been to France. Uh, Britain, it's like not really, I don't know. It just wasn't, I wasn't very impressed. The only thing that I was really kind of impressed with Britain was um, a Premier Inn. That shit is a good hotel. I mean, what is there to be impressive about Britain, though? It's just like America 2.0, but they talk funny. Not yeah, in talking, France? No, eh. not. Britain is like the beta test of America. What are you yeah. talking about? Britain was like the spearhead front of World War II. Oi, bro! Have you got a license for that opinion? <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe. Okay, maybe now. But... Uh, Britain in eighteen hundreds. Uh, time to take a tour of my illustrious empire. Britain now is pretty much a tourist. Uh, Britain like now, France and uh, Germany all. And then Britain now. Hello, hello! You got a license for all this mucking about? <laughs> what does Britain even export? Do they even have uh, the landmass um, to export anything? I, <laughs> I don't know what anymore. I, I don't know. Tea? I mean, sitcoms that last for one season, and that season only has like three episodes. <laughs> literally, the best thing about Britain that I, when I was there was the hotel I was in. I want a full wow, breakfast, and I want that blood sausage. That's a, that's a low fucking Oi, bar, dude. You got a license for that blood sausage? But the hotel was though really good. I have yet to be at a hotel that's better than it in here. 
It's a, it's a hotel. I'll stay at a Holiday Inn if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Motel 6, come on. <laughs> if there was a butcher out there that uh, can make blood, so- blood sausage in America, I'll deadass donate my own blood to make it. I think I've had blood sausage while I was in Britain. <laughs> I think I did. Oh, shoot! Shoot! <laughs> I, I think I think I I think I had it. While I, was I am no I am no strangers to needles. You can you can hook up all my veins. I don't even care. <laughs> okay, buddy. Bruh, I just straight up got jump scared on a podcast. <laughs> what? <laughs> all I have to do is just say what. If you want to get jump scared too, just watch that. Just watch what. I just I put it in the group chat. <laughs> oh, I can't go to it. I right, oh. see this. <laughs> oh, I've seen was, part of this before. I was. I'm not gonna listen. To no, you. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting it, but still. Did you know there's like a? Did you know there's like a Japanese tourist like help hotline? Like, uh, if they go to France, like there's like a building dedicated to. Uh, comforting Japanese people because of the culture shock. Why the really? fuck would you want to go to France, though? Of course you're going to call a help hotline when you're in fucking France. <laughs> <laughs> God dang. Also, no, so to the, the, reason, the reason why is because, like, you know, it, it, Paris is romanticized in films heavily. If you actually go there, it's a whole other story. You think everyone smoking there is sexy in the movies until you actually go there. Oh, bro, I was there. It's it literally just I literally could smell nothing but fucking for tobacco products. <laughs> hey, baby, like you want to have a good time? Wee wee with you. Hey, hey, baby, I got four heroes <laughs> on these tits. <laughs> oh, what on the oh. alien smooth skin? Oh, we will surrender to every fight. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, I have a February. serious Warhammer question for y'all. Yeah, yeah. Is yes. Omegon that... kill? Omegon. No. Say Omegon. Omegon, Omegon. It's Omegon. Oh, Okay, that'll be our next. Uh, that'll be the next word. He's is Oma- it Omegon or Omegon? It's Omegon. Omegon. It's one of the words going. Oh my god! Bond, <laughs> no, it's Omegon. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, it's Omegon. Alpharis and Omegon. Who? Bro, who's echoing? David. David. Oh, it'd be weird if it was Alpharis and Omegon. I thought oh, it was always listed off as Alpharius Omegon. It's like saying Alf. It's like saying Alpharus Omegon. <laughs> Alpharus Omegon. Alpharus Omegon. You gotta I mean, extend the that's vowels. Technically, a proper pronunciation of it. Based no, on it's the... not. Dale, you're stupid. I hate you. Go, get off this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, don't hurt his feelings like that. <laughs> uh, you know I'm a weak little bitch boy. So, February. He's already having nicotine overdoses. He doesn't need um, uh, PTSD. Yeah. I can wish. <laughs> what other uh, Warhammer shit do we have to talk about? I honestly don't know a whole lot about the war, so you can't... Uh... I have an idea. Yeah. Go on. Recently, I have purchased a physical copy of Space Hulk Death, or just Space Hulk, uh, Man vs. Alien in Desperate Battle. And <clears throat> I think it you would be. You told us about that last episode. No, he what? didn't. They did. I don't think well, he did. I'm... He did it. I Anyways, this is, this is completely unrelated to the fact that I own it. What I think we should do. Okay, it's not completely unrelated. What I think we should do <laughs> is I will stream a video of, like, my kitchen table and set it up. And we're going to play it. And then, yes, all five of us can play it. We'll, you guys can take turns being the Space Marines or take turns being the Gene Stealers or whatever. And I, I think that would be such a horribly chaotic way to get this done. 
we could roll dice in the uh, in, in the Discord. That's the word. So I don't have to actually use my dice. And I, I think that would be a horrendous way to play the game. That would be a perfect way to gain followers. Understandable. Yes. Stream also, that on the what channel. What is with the uh, buggies or whatever it is for in the uh, tabletop for the new Primaris Marines? Oh my oh god! Oh my god! I'm so I'm sorry, but only orcs can pull off a fucking buggy. Yeah, the, it's, like, it is not why, a good look for that. I know. For, like, for why would them, why would fucking demigods be riding a goddamn buggy? <laughs> okay, right. fair that point. They don't need that much armor. Because they're space marine, but it still looks retarded. I know. It looks like they were trying to rip off Halo and the orcs at the same time. It looks yeah, like they're trying it, to rip off Borderlands. That Borderlands yes, buggy. That their too. buggy looks like an actual square. Nothing about <laughs> the design of their buggy. Nothing it looks about practical. The, the nothing, is about, nothing about it is practical. Yes. Does it operate Which like is a against the whole the only ultra face rapid work? deployment of the ultra burgies. <laughs> okay, obviously it's not like a troop transport. It's supposed to be a you know hit fast and run away kind of vehicle, but it just it's oh, just, it's so it bad. Good. Wait, wait, wait! Like, what was wrong with the land speeder? What was wrong? Nothing with was wrong with the land speeder. Why did, they, get... why did they make the same concept just with wheels? It's the exact same vehicle. Just it, it just it just doesn't look good, dude. Land speeders are probably a lot more efficient than this. Yeah, because they don't need to go on terrain; they can just hover. And plus, as well, I th I would think it would be faster. Yeah, it would be faster since it doesn't have the friction. And then I'm like, it's still like, why why would demigods be riding a goddamn buggy? When they can outrun the freaking Bucky on their own. Like, yeah, you're, you're missing the big picture here. They... Oh, Dale's dead. Dale's dead. <laughs> oh, no, there he is. Uh, Dale lives. But Dale you know, and you're, David lives. You're, you're missing the, the big picture. What the fuck was that? Uh, <laughs> I couldn't hear you guys. Where, where are we at now? Still oh, talking okay. about the boogie. Rogel said it was stupid, okay. and I said y'all are just missing the big idea. You may think it looks goofy, you may think it's inefficient, but you know what? Yeah, I can agree. <laughs> exactly. No, he had us in the first half. What are they? I know I made a whole post about this, but can I go into the specifics of it? Yeah, go for go it. Go for it. Okay, so like I said, obviously, actually, I think this is where I cut out last time is my entire explanation on how the buggy does not have the arc capab the like turning capabilities to actually do its job, which is supposed to be kind of like a, a scout, uh, hit hard and run away type of vehicle. Anyways, I'm going to be so interject right here real quick. That buggy is more likely to flip over with those space <laughs> marines than with anything else. <laughs> yes. That was exactly. just what I was about to say. Is if it if it was an Imperial awful. Guard vehicle, that would be a whole different story. If it was an Imperial Guard vehicle, that'd be even worse. The, the reason they have things like the Tau Rocks and the Chimera and the Lehman Russ is because everything 40k is so freaking OP to the point that like a single shot to the driver screws everybody in the vehicle. And also the, the uh, armor Sentinel. capabilities the of Sentinel. the buggy. Yes, the Sentinels. I, I know they have light Sentinels, but those things move faster than anything else in the in the Astro Militarum. So, <clears throat> anyways, what I was saying is the buggy does have an up-armored capability, but that only covers up to, like, the middle of their chest, so their shoulders and head are still exposed. I, I know that, like, you're not going to be able to snipe a space marine out of a war buggy. It's like, it's, it's a very I mean... difficult thing to do. Yeah, but the Taurox appears to be modeled after an MRAP. An MRAP is a current day military vehicle designed specifically to disperse the blast wave from mines and other explosives that end up underneath the vehicle. This prevents rollovers so the people inside are actually a whole lot safer than in a Humvee or anything else. So like I said, mm -hmm. the Taurox is designed like an MRAP. The way this buggy is designed, if it hits a mine, it is going to flip over and probably end up killing the Space Marines just from that alone. 
it, this is the worst military vehicle design I've ever seen. That's not to mention the fact that I, I know the Lehman Rust, technically, based on its proportions, it would like turn over backwards whenever it fires its cannon. Completely different to how absolutely terribly designed this buggy is. There's a little bit of there's an air of disbelief around the Lehman Russ and the Chimera and stuff like that about its firing capabilities and whatnot. But this buggy just has no basis in any reality to actually be a viable vehicle. Watch as they watch as they use they only put the vehicle in so that they can put it into a game later on. What do you this mean? This buggy has no tactical advantage. Like whatsoever. listen, like in a like in a game, they only put it in the lore so that later they can use it to put it in the game so you can drive it like a warthog. The most Oh my fun god, thing they're gonna have cart. Warhammer cart. <laughs> Warhammer cart. <laughs> You'd have like um uh, space marines in their buggy, orcs in their buggy. What would guard use? Uh um, oh, Camara. Like a fast Camara. A rigged. The horses, <laughs> or uh, like horse or like a sentinel, sentinel. and then yeah, uh, what? Like and then Eldar, they would have like some kind of jet bike. They've if got I remember some sort correctly. of speed bike, something. Yeah, yeah. something Star Wars like. Uh, what would Tau have? They do they have Tau, what kind of know vehicles this. do they have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tau, come on, buddy. Uh, come on, man. You, well, oh, they could, they, they could just have a ride in their drone. Yeah, they could just yeah, they just sit on top of a drone. Just set a thought of a drone go woo! And then um what would chaos use? Their their bikes their bikes. The, wheel, the death wheel. Yes, the death wheel. And yeah, then what would Tyranit what, what would Tyranits have for like Warhammer cart? They would just uh, like a, probably another spinning develop ball. specifically to do Warhammer cart. That's what and they would just have a bioform. You yeah. just see a Tyranid T posing while it runs. What would the Necrons use? <laughs> no, wait, uh, it would Naruto run. That's what it would do. Necrons, um, they would probably just have like another type of Necron. Like One a Necron big mountain or whatever. A, a, a Necron nah. a Necron cart. Wait. Just a giant floating Necrons? pyramid that takes up the entire map. <laughs> no, dead ass. Uh it would just be a Necron riding on the on the uh, scarabs. That would be kind of neat though. Like it would be. Like what about the uh, scarabs? What are the big floaty dudes? The destroyers? Yes. Yeah, just, yeah. One, just have one of those guys. I just fucking yeah. put like jets and Necron jets on it or something. One of their, one of their croissant ships. Yes. <laughs> croissant. croissant. Who came croissant? up with that? That's the stupidest design for any. They're like they're like the most advanced. They're like they're literally the most advanced faction in all of Warhammer, and and their fucking ships look like a croissant. Well, see, that's, that's the thing that everybody said about, like, alien spaceships, is once you've developed yeah. instantaneous space travel, who really cares what your ship looks like? Because you can go anywhere, and the wind cube. resistance doesn't matter. The cube. Exactly. The cube from Star Trek is the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but guys, you want it to be... Really... Is that a really good thing to talk about, like, the Imperium with their flying cathedrals? And what the whole how the orcs make? Yeah, but they're in space. That's true. Cool. That's true. Space. That's yeah, space. The, the, okay, space space magic. Space, here's what here's what Marstoma keeps arguing is that it doesn't aerodynamics don't matter in space, but you yes. still want the slim design so you can avoid stuff. If no. you have a giant cube, you are a huge target. If you're a giant Yeah, but if you got a giant cube, a cube and really target. thick armor, who cares? Because eventually that armor is going to, yeah, wear break down, apart. be destroyed. No, eventually. No, you still want to be hit. You still want to avoid. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's like the it's like the kids on the planet. Well, my spaceship has thick armor. Okay. Well, my rockets can penetrate your thick armor. No, they can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll just double the shields. You can never get through those. Yeah, I can. I just upgraded my yeah. rockets. Uh, they do. <laughs> yeah, mine are invincible. It's infinity. Oh, well, we should call my it. rockets do infinity plus one damage. So <laughs> infinity damage. Call, call this episode Warhammer Playground Talk. <laughs> Honestly. Well, I need mean, divided by what... zero, so my rockets can 
have so much DACA? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> well, my my rockets are orc rockets, so they could beat anything. Isn't that basically just what 40k is in general? It's like, yeah, well, my soldier has two hearts, three lungs, <laughs> and acid spit. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, well, well, my yeah. giant war machine is bigger. We got infinite demons. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, I got a robot that's a thousand feet tall, and it can shoot <laughs> rocket miniguns. See, that's the thing that I never got about Chaos, is they, they literally have an infinite number of demons. They can just respawn them whenever they want. Why, why are they having such a hard time doing anything in the real world? They're not. Their focus is just because so Matt word. Well, the thing is, though, with Chaos, is they don't want to de- dominate, because that would just kind of drown them out. No, I thought, they, was, I thought it was the reason they're not is because they're so focused on each other, because of the great game. I mean, that's with the Chaos Gods. That's not, well, it is somewhat with their followers, but it's more with the Chaos Gods and their demons. The Gaos Gods. <laughs> Gaos Gods. No, that's just Slanesh. I mean, you're, 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 you're somewhat right. Slanesh is literally every sexuality. <laughs> what do you mean every? There's only like two. Wait, uh, so yeah, if the Chaos Gods are so focused in the great game and they really like beating each other up, how come their, fi- their followers, followers don't fight very often? Or uh, fight ever? I mean... There sometimes do fight, like, I mean, the Legion Wars that happened after the Horus Heresy. There'd be no point in sending your followers into the great game, because they're just going to die anyway. That's yeah, just, they're, they're, they just, just lose that, followers. That's just not But, I mean, there was only one time I can think, a major time I can think of, Chaos versus Chaos, and that was during the Legion Wars, after the Horus Heresy. Hold on, I'll which, all, which all took place right, but- in the Eye of Terror. Wouldn't that be so soon afterwards that they're still kind of, sort of, not really chaos yet? Yeah, that's when they were... Cor- that, the Legion Wars was when they were... Cor- was around the time they were fully corrupted. Oh, okay. It's like as they were getting fully corrupted, sort of. Like, this is when, like, the Emperor's children were becoming Slaneshi noise marines. Right. And then this is what Well, the Death Guard, they've been fucking space aids since the Horus Heresy. Which also yeah, the Death Guard are gonna deal. really fuck up the Tau pretty hard. And then, um, like the uh, well, Black Legion, they uh, which were the Sons of Horus, they were always Chaos Undivided and not very corrupted to begin with. Uh, same way, way with the Iron Warriors. The Iron Warriors, don't, they don't even like Chaos. They just kind of do well, their own thing. Okay, how about this? If Chaos Gods are more focused on themselves, why do they have followers to begin with? Well, they kind of power. need belief to... Yeah, they need belief to actually function. Well, actually, they don't really need belief, they just need actions. Right, so because the actions have created the Chaos Gods to begin with, and basically, like, anything you do kind of sort of inadvertently helps the Chaos Gods. That's one humans. of the reasons That's one of the reasons why Gork and Mork are literally the most powerful gods in the warp. <laughs> I'm, and right. the Gork? It, in everything. Literally, uh, that, that's what I find hilarious. The comic relief of 40k has the most powerful entities in all of 40k as their gods. Right. See, that's one of the things about it is, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before, is just how hilarious orcs are when uh, they aren't actively trying to kill you. They're <laughs> funny to look at, but it's, it's like, actually ha, horrifying he, when they come running at you. They're like, ha, he punched, he ha, he bit his head off. Uh, wait a minute, he's looking right at me, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> exactly. He's like, he's like, ha, he kicked that Gretchen, which beat up the squig. Oh shit, that squig's coming right for me. Ha, he, that Gretchen lit that snotling on fire. Oh god, he's coming at me with a match. <laughs> uh. Man, orcs are the greatest. That's why yeah. I. That's why. That's why I went from the Imperium to the Orcs. I kind of got tired of all the whole life sucks kind of atmosphere they focus on. I was like, I want some. I want some funny. I want some funny. I want the funny. Tuska Demon orcs, Killer orcs. is straight up pinnacle orc. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if at this point he is the biggest orc. I mean, he pretty much. Is. He's probably. I he's probably B-sized. He's probably B-sized at this point. 
So does do, do they get the more intelligent work. as they uh, get bigger? Well, if the War of the Beast is anything to go by, um, the orcs got like space marine level gear during the War of the Beast. Right, but weren't and they? Then, wasn't the the beast was a cork though, wasn't he? No, not really. He was about the size of a cork. But I don't think uh, he actually he was, was a cork. Just about, but not quite he, yet. Yeah, he was like ten meters tall. Your average cork was twelve meters tall. And I'm gonna. Oh, go okay. Up. We're right. talking about orcs. <laughs> I'm gonna be one hundred percent honest. Whatever I ate is not agreeing with me. It's kind of hot. Can you shit in my mouth? <laughs> Bro, oh, I guarantee you <laughs> that it's a war zone right now. I can try, but I might miss. <laughs> oh, there's no missing. It would go in and out. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you're saying you're prairie dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like someone would get in your mouth, someone would get on your shirt. Why would oh, I wear a shirt? Okay, the diarrhea. <laughs> 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 I think it's the Miracle Whip. I haven't had that in so long. Oh, I, ugh. I mean, hmm. you know what's actually good is when you have like. Oh wait, no, never mind. That's I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'll be back. Oh, he's Bruh. dead again. <laughs> all right, so can we also talk about how much of a Chad the Arnold, like the Terminator, is compared to John Wick? Yes, like, I love the Terminator. Honestly, favorite series ever. There's just, just I'm so sorry, good. Arnold but Reddit, is such a great. I'm sorry, but Reddit fucking ruined John Wick for me. How so? Yeah, With the whole John Keanu, Wick, whatever, whatever. Keanu Reeves, all this Keanu Reeves worship at Reddit. Yeah, it's like so Keanu funny. Reeves is a great person. Yeah, he's like a this good guy worship and everything. is just making me hate. It's, it's the like, same thing. This guy is objectively good. You have somehow made me hate somebody who is objectively good. How did you manage that? <laughs> exactly. And that, it's the same way with like, oh, on in, oh my god, on Instagram and the Warhammer memes tag. It's literally, I look for like a while after like this whole lockdown thing started. I saw there was like shitloads of memes worshipping Henry Cavill. Yeah. Can we all talk, like, here's a comparison. When a Terminator gets guns, and then John Wick gets guns. He su gets everything suggested by a store. Like, John Wick gets everything by a store cart, awkwardly pauses, and then, like, yes, and has a breakdown. While the Terminator just busts through the door, and he's like, I'll take the 45 auto with laser sight, the Uzi 9mm. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Forty watts and then, plays and then, uh, pistol. And then the fucking uh, police station scene. I'll be back. Crush his car through the fucking building. Yes. The first and Terminator then, has a lot of quotable. It, it's got a lot of quotes in it, but it just for some reason it gets forgotten. Chill out. It, I honestly Chill don't out. think that Terminator One is nearly as good as Terminator Two. It's one of those cases, kind of like with Aliens, tends to be like better than Alien. You think the first Alien was bad? Or not as good as Aliens? I'm just saying, like, a lot of people tend to find the sequel better than the original. Mm. Because well, I think I, the I 80s was say, just... Well, episode 8 of Star Wars kind of begs to differ. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, the sequel trilogy overall was bad. <laughs> Yes. I'm just saying, like, for example, I'm just saying an example because a lot of people tend to like Aliens better than Alien. And we all agree Alien 3 was. Eh. Eh. Honestly, can't say I've seen Alien 3. I know I've seen the first. I know I've seen the first Alien. I know I've seen Terminator 1 and 2. And I've seen the first Predator movie. I've seen bits of Predator 2. I think a little bit of Predator 3. I saw a lot of. The first or second Alien vs. Predator. And then other stuff like that. But I think the 80s were just this interesting era where they were just throwing stuff at the wall to see what stuck. And once something finally did stick, the sequel came out and it was just awesome. Dude, the 80s were great for movies. They were. Uh, they so, were. Many think, dumb, so many great dumb action movies. <laughs> I think that's what's happening to gaming right now. 
is we've gone through our 80s stage where everything's just fun and cool and now everybody wants to make a piece of art instead of something people will actually enjoy yeah we have the we're in the andy warhol stage of gaming right now <laughs> yeah probably. y'all heard of empire where it's like a whole movie about just the empire state building what what yeah you guys that sounds like garbage that? <laughs> no, it sounds it awful. It was an Andy Warhol movie. It's called Empire. Uh, it was in 1964. It consists of eight hours and five minutes of slow motion footage of the Empire State Building. I'm going to be real honest here. If artist is the only thing to describe what you are, you probably should not be creating art. And I feel like that's a lot of the problems with video games and movies. Is too many just Last pure artists. <laughs> yes. Yes. Too many just pure artists are creating art. So it doesn't appeal to anybody except other artists. I'll and be honest, you- Naughty Dogs got so bad on the cease and desist about rating like uh, reviews that the ja- like the Japanese IGN was the only one of the few ones to give an honest review. That wasn't 10, 100 out of 100, 98 out of 100. Just almost perfect stores. Oh, yeah. Um, they were praising the fact that it's recently gotten, like, what was it? Uh, it's like perfect scores across the board for the per- first couple of weeks or whatever. Oh, my God. This reminds me of an old um, uh, GameSpot review of GTA Five. How's that? Uh, there was you a, uh, the GameSpot when every COD got like perfect scores oh my god yeah i don't know I what was going on then <laughs> i'm I sorry to go back the... to the days of cod being the one we just shit on for being the same i'm sorry but no uh, my last favorite call of duty was world at war really you didn't Can like go any back of modern to warfare? the days of i mean War-Wee modern warfare all? 2 was what well, modern warfare was 2 it was good and all but World at War was really kind of like the last one I really kind of liked. Dude, okay. World at I think War the had the best story. first one I ever played was two. Me. The first ever COD I played was Modern Warfare Two, so I got really into that story. And I'm gonna be real honest, since I I didn't get an Xbox to like 2011, <laughs> so I never ended up playing World at War. I'd My... see it every now and then in like Steam sales or something. And I'm like, oh yeah, I need to get that, and I just never have. My My first Call of Duty was. Call of Duty 3. It's a Which really odd... It, it was like a console-only Call of Duty. It was like a really weird one. It was the first one made by Treyarch. I don't no, know. I understand. It was my first Call of Duty I played because ba- it was like rated teen. I'll be honest right. with you guys. Because back, back in those days, when I was like, what? T- I'm 11? My, my mom or whatever wouldn't let me play rated M games yet. So <laughs> I'll be dead serious, you guys. I started out with Medal of Honor first. Particularly oh, Medal Rising. of Honor was awesome. Oh, Medal of Honor Airborne is probably my favorite one I've played. I had Medal of Honor Allied Assault for PC. Allied Assault is good. And yes, then Allied Medal Assault of Honor uh, Rising Sun for the GameCube. Oh, Dude, my Dude, I played so much Allied Assault. I actually... Playing Allied Assault, it made me kind of upset because there was this one level that I could just never beat when I was younger. So I played through it the other day, and I beat the level, and that was the end of the game. And I was like, what? All this time, I thought there was more to play. I thought, I thought that I was missing out on something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I don't know, but like, what would you say is the most for, least known about Call of Duty? At least known Call of Duty, um, Infinity War. Not Infinity uh, yeah, War. Surprisingly, uh, Infinity War's campaign, from what I heard, was actually. Was it Infinity War? I played Infinity War. I got it mostly so I can get Call of Duty Modern Warfare remastered. But I played Infinity War, the campaign. It was pretty decent. Hold on. What were the two most recent Marvel movies? Endgame and. Spider Man Far From Home? No, 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 no. The, the, the two big ones. Endgame and the second part. You know, it, you're thinking of Avengers, uh, Infinity it's War, in- then Endgame. Was it Infinity uh, War, then Endgame? 
God mm-hmm. damn it, Norton wants to Norton wants to restart my computer, but I'll just I'm gonna have to put that in hold. <laughs> right, so it was Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, right? Right. Wait, so was it Infinity War for Call of Duty or was it different? Oh, and it came out what? in twenty sixteen? Yeah, I think Infinity War came out in twenty sixteen. Infinite Warfare. Yeah, fin- uh, Infinite yeah. Warfare. Warfare. Not not Infinity War, because that yeah. was that was the Marvel movie. <laughs> God, we're even we're consuming wrong. We're consuming uh, incorrectly. Must Anyways, consume. Yeah. Personally, I'd say that one's the most forgettable, despite being one of the more recent ones. I, uh, Literally nobody talks about it. I would say Call of Duty three was the most forgot forgotten you know what i'm actually kind of disappointed we haven't seen more of ah. extinction 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 oh the uh infinity war infinite no warfare. that was cod ghost oh yeah ghost. i remember that right. me and some friends back in the day played that sometimes it was like an alien invasion or something yeah it was like it literally just aliens it was aliens and it actually brought new stuff to the Table and, and it never got really re- from what I heard. and it never got re and it never got reused. Me and my friends played it back in the day. It was interesting. How was it compared to zombies? Uh, zombies is better. And I wouldn't what, really and say necessarily. Standard? Like uh, after you get past, like there's so much more to it. I, I'm just trying to remember. We never really got that far, but overall, I just found zombies to be a lot more entertaining. Well, if uh, Extinction ended up being more story-based than Zombies was, I can see why. Because Zombies was just this neat arena shooter with some story injected to it. And then the story got... And and then the story in uh, in Zombies is so goddamn convoluted now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I never understood the people who got so into it. It just seemed like a waste of time since it wasn't the overarching Call of Duty story. It was just this little side project. Oh, that reminds me of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Where the hell was that story going? I couldn't even beat the game. It it was wild. No, I did beat the game. And it was wild. I I know, the story is so fucking weird. Like, where did it go? Where did it come from? Uh, I think... If I'm remembering correctly, then in one of the text scrolls at the beginning of one of the missions, it explains how this is the death dream of the character from the first level, because he actually died. So I know, but like, who is this main character? Like, what all hell is this? Uh, I don't think it matters. <laughs> at all. No, then, like, how is it Black Ops? You guys remember those matter. zombies and how story driven that was that was black ops 3 yes it, it, like actually it reused black ops 3 campaign levels right wait what are you talking about exo zombies didn't it no, it that, no that was uh exo zombies was, was advanced warfare oh what was what was black ops 3 thing where it reused campaign levels but added zombies along with other npcs uh, can't say I know. <laughs> okay. What? What? Uh, we're, we're we're kind of running dry. What else do we have? <laughs> Wait, where's Tal? Um, what? Uh, he, he's, he's going he... to take a massive dump. I think we're about <laughs> to an hour, anyways. He, I mean, he should have. No, I mean, like, he, is, he is Tal dance. dying? <laughs> he, Apparently, he's, he's, I, I don't know what dying he's doing. Of, Tal's dying of dysentery. <laughs> He got terminal dysentery. <laughs> I mean, perhaps. Uh, we could always turn to Halo. <laughs> um, we told ourselves said we so much do about that. Halo. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, we can't. Not, We've already done a tons Halo. of time. We've already done that tons of times. Um, uh, what, what other Warhammer shit do we have to talk about? Since we're I Warhammer. Um. Have you guys what is ever read any the of whole the... Warhammer community thing? What? Um, there's that guy who got his power fist revealed. Mm. 
I don't pay much attention to Space Marines anymore. <laughs> well, I, I think it was a uh, Chaos guy, because the way the fist is made, it's got claws instead yeah. of regular well, I mean, there was, fingers. Well, I mean, there was, lightning claws were common during a Horus Heresy, though. Well, right, but they're not, they're not like, uh, long lightning claws. They're, uh, they're more like regular power fist fingers, but they have sharp tips. Oh, yeah, that's chaos. <laughs> and there is a, uh, what's the term I'm looking for? If it's um, spiky and power armor, it's chaos. <laughs> Nurgle. Guy. What? <laughs> Guy. We're, we're trying to make sure, um, uh, yeah, well, it's just not me and Dale. <laughs> no, I live. Uh, what is the name for it? the space marines that follow Nurgle? Death Guard! Death Guard. No. Death, Guard. Death Guard. Death Guard. Um, yeah, so there is a specific death, optional Death Guard power fist that has spiky fingers. Let me guess, really? the spiky fingers are laced with um, uh, STDs. I mean, probably, but I don't know. Anyways, and the, uh, because we've already agreed that it is chaos, there's this, like, dripping goo stuff on his finger, so Death I'm going to assume... Minute. I'm going to assume mm -hmm. that's either Nurgle Goo, or it's Blood for the Blood God, or Games come. Workshop has gone full SJW and it's come. It's Slanesh, it's come. It's come. I mean, technically, you could probably paint it to look like a Slaneshi cultist and make that come, so. It's Coomer. <laughs> Must Coom! Back Wait, yet? you guys remember hearing about that lore about uh, the world eater who actually was working on overcoming his uh, butcher's nails? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, uh, it was in one of the more recent uh, Fabius Bile uh, books that just came out recently. There are a couple space marines that, like, want to uh, <gasps> not be chaos anymore. Uh, but I, I wouldn't so... be, it wouldn't surprise me, considering the Chaos Gods tend to be dicks to their servants. Right. Yeah, but like the uh, whole thing is, is like, oh, we're, we've been changed worse than the mutants, so I don't know if we can do that and stuff things. Corn like, uh, or uh, for a corn, I'm a warlord. He'd be like, he likes the, he likes some dumbass fungus man better than me. I'm, I'm so honest. Yeah. I I can see uh, Mort uh, Mortarian trying to find a way to break free of Papa Nurgle. Has he accepted only... his fate, or does he still hate who he is? Um, I mean, knowing he Mort knowing Mortarion, he probably would. Is he that susceptible? But I mean, with Mort Mortarian, he keeps his blade clean. Like, that right. thing is not rusty or anything like that. He tries to keep it clean, and he's, out of all the Primarchs, he's, he's the, the most least... He's the, the one that looks the most human. Just wings. Yeah, he's the, oh, he's the only one that looks, like, still kind of human. I'm not so sure about that. Have you seen the new Mortarian model? He's kind of kind of funky looking. I know, but, like, he's, he's, so the one has the, he's the one that has the most humanoid appearance. Fair enough. Yeah, because, uh, good old. Spiky nipples over there, not so human anymore. He's just like, it's just well. I mean, he was literally forced into the position. So I am back. Right. Charles. Charles. We just he need did not, need. He didn't die. Oh. He didn't die of dysentery. <laughs> no, I almost. That what my experience could have been a whole episode on its own. I'd rather not hear about it. Attack of the poo poo. His liquid <laughs> shits. No, it was it was much more than that. Oh. It was explosive diarrhea. He, he was cursed by he was cursed by Nurgle to have eternal shits. Since I know <laughs> I know the audience is extremely eager to hear about this again and about my again, about my massive uh, shit. So at first it was just me needing to take a poop really bad. So that's whenever <laughs> I left, and then it was really hard. <laughs> and mm. like, <laughs> oh, it's no, like the new no. Artemis Fowl. It's so, like the Artemis Fowl that, movie. After that, it's feeding time. time. Oh. Dude, it turned into like Dumb and Dumber 1. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> I then went to the kitchen to take some pain medication since I knew the coming storm. Is that bad? Not... Yeah. I knew oh. I knew it wasn't I knew Yeah. I am not new <laughs> for what this pain was. So I prepared and I still couldn't get over it. So I took the pain pills. I went in my room. I saw y'all talking and heard y'all, but I was laying on my bed because my stomach wow. was just hurting so bad. I was sweating really hard. I was daisy. It sucked. And then I went to the bathroom again, and I took a shower. Well, I shit some more. I took a shower, <laughs> and then I threw up everything. Oh, jeez. Everything. I guess it's true what they say. Uh, music make you lose control. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. I guess. <laughs> but so after I threw up violently everything, then I came back in here. Now that sounds like a short story, but then again, I was also gone for like thirty. You were gone for like thirty or forty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. When did we lose the David? episode? When did when we did lose David? David? Yeah. When did we? Lose yeah. David? When did we lose David? It's David a while ago. I don't know. He cut out and went away. Do we have a message from him? Did he leave us a note? We can uh, give a doctor note. No, he did not. He's fired. Son He's fired. Of a bitch. He's fired. He's, fired. He's, not, he's not coming back. He's fired. We are sending him to the cum zone. We should, uh... <laughs> we're gonna, we're putting episode, him in... We should, we should do we're, impressions. We're putting him in Slaness's cum jar. There we go. How, how far are we into the... Into the, into the what did we, what did we even we start? We started at, what like, 7.30, and it's about 8.40 now, so I think we've got close to an hour here. But yeah, but I don't, I don't know if we're going to end up hours. cutting out the yeah, Waco or going. what. Let's so. keep going with this. Okay, okay so wanna, whenever I left off... shoot for two? Whenever I left off, February was when the wildfires happened. <laughs> oh, you were going I way forgot. back. We were, we were I forgot. We were going way back. back. <laughs> this whole episode was supposed to be that, and then we ended up talking about, uh, like, the bikes. Dude, we went so far off topic. That's great. <laughs> Can we act? Let's actually finish this. Let's keep going so we can actually answer our own questions. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta so, finish it. We have a goal. We have February, to is the whenever, fight. February is whenever God decided he hated California now and Australia. When did he not yeah. hate well, California? Let's be, let's, yeah, let's be real. He, when does he not hate California? I think mm, everybody yeah. hates California. Even Californians but, hate California. But the, only, the, the, only, the only cool Californians are the ones who watch this podcast. Yes. <laughs> so yes. all two of you. All <laughs> two of you? Oh, so we do have them. Wait, we do have Californians? I don't know. Wait, we do? Do we? <laughs> Nani? So. I, I want connections in Los Angeles. Oh, don't don't turn us into one of those kind of people. He's like, yeah. oh, well, now the yeah, YouTube's going big. We're going to move out uh... to California. <clears throat> no, turn us into no, H3, we're going to be successful. We got to take the soy. I'm going to commit to Puku. See you guys later. You'll learn, <laughs> right, see you. uh, uh, fun, you'll, learn, you'll learn to love it. You will learn to love it. I don't want man titties. You <laughs> may try. But I don't want my fiance. Guys, going bald is not room. going bald is not that bad. Come on, I don't want to. What are we talking I, about I, going bald? I, I don't want to become don't gay and bald. break off my dear five year relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Question your sexuality, Dale. No. <laughs> Why? Give me one valid reason. <laughs> Money. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, take it up the ass. Depends on how much money, though. <laughs> Join the Church of Scientology. There's no money in that. Not unless you leave Oh, it. there's a lot of money in that. It's just the power. It's, it's just straight up a pyramid scheme. Yes. Before we get into... You know what? I don't even care. No, uh, one, no one's for Scientology. No normal person. For hey, hey, I don't want, I don't want um, uh, Scientology death squads breaking down my door. They're not going to do I anything. I don't want Tom to come shoot my dog. Remember when? Remember when the Cruise person made Hanks. the documentary? <laughs> remember when the person? Made the, remember when the person made the documentary about Scientology and how it was in a bad light? You know what they did? They just emailed her angry emails. <laughs> They're not gonna send death squads. They're just gonna send you angry emails. 
Who what cares? was that one time that CNBC posted an article about how there was like three point seven trillion dollars missing from the ma- from the national treasury or something, and then the CEO of CNBC's kids both got murdered. Oh, bruh. That's what I call a bro moment. That's what I call <laughs> a society. I watched The Joker yesterday with Jan. Since well, somebody totally friend. didn't illegally send that to our Discord or anything. No, it was legally. Remember, they bought it and they recorded it for us to watch. Yeah, yeah. I remember it doesn't that. make it any more legal. <laughs> yeah, it does. Does it? If you buy a movie, you can law. share the movie. Yeah, if you own the movie, you can share it. <laughs> It's not illegal distribution if they give you the disc to watch. Mm, yeah, that's they, 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 they shipped us. They shipped us the disc. That's what happened. I agree. We we're not we aren't lying. Amazon, please don't come kill us. <laughs> <laughs> and I totally Why didn't the send... ATS totally shoot my dog? <clears throat> oh, another movie I watched is Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Oh, that's a fucking classic. That no, a it's classic. a fever dream. It is the whole goddamn thing is a fever dream. Oh. I could not stop laughing whenever I realized the the house is right in front of the school. No wonder this kid's getting bullied what? by everyone. He lives directly from Mr. the school. Mr. Electric, send him to the principal's <laughs> office at once! And then you realize George Lopez's character, the, t- the teacher the entire time is just like, I'm, I know everything! You know nothing! That's why <laughs> I'm the teacher! And you're not, bro. That movie was fucking whack. <laughs> oh, it was whack. We all need to watch it. It's on Netflix, <laughs> dude. Heck yeah! Can yes. we stream that? Jabul. We can't stream anything on Netflix. Why not? It turns in. It turns everything into a black screen. Oh but, yeah. Um, like if I you try to for screen, Hulu though. If you try to screenshot anything from the movie, it also just black screens it. Yeah, oh, which makes it really shitty. I, I tried to memes sometimes. I yeah, I tried to black screen something from the Halo Legends or whatever. Oh, Halo Legends is so good. Oh, and, Halo Legends was amazing. And yes. it, and I tried posting it like on Reddit, and they were, and it wouldn't let me. Hmm. Reddit, Bruh, cringe. Reddit. I was about. Oh yeah. Um, I I totally do not have a. Uh, all of the Avatar The Last Airbender illegally downloaded, so there is no way that we could all, you know, stream that at some point. Why do you need why do you need them illegally downloaded? They're on Netflix. Because I don't want to pay for Netflix because I own Hulu, because Netflix has like three good shows and Hulu's got like at least ten. Then just keep making uh email new emails and getting the free I have it downloaded, buddy. I've already got it. it's a downloaded product like my <laughs> now, I think by doing something illegal, you're making it way more complicated than it has to be. It's like illegal it downloading. It's way more complicated than it has to be. I've already got it. It's already done. It's, it's finished. <laughs> I could stream it from my phone. I can watch Netflix from my phone. Yeah, but it's downloaded to my my camera library. My uh, it takes like two it takes like two gigabytes. Of my what should phone. we even call this episode? Da- I'm a David. I don't know. And, it's David and Tau dead. <laughs> David and Tao Kill. I'm going to no. give a small shout out to uh, Krembit from the Discord because he finally figured out what virtual signaling was. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, we, we, we definitely need to, uh, we we definitely need to link our Discord more often. We haven't answered our questions still. Yeah. Let's okay, so January was World War Three. February, everything was on fire. Uh, March was the start of the March. Coronavirus. Yeah, March. Well, technically, it started back in December of 2019. And technically, yeah. we're not supposed to talk about this at all, or else we'll get demonetized off of YouTube. We're not and it'll come murder us anyway. Anyways. No Jews yet. Uh, oh, yeah. Kung flu happened in March. Yeah, we aren't allowed to say that, or else we will be deemed racist and crucified then paraded through the streets um no our income is going to be from patreon wink wink oh no your social credit score <laughs> wink wink you also check out our patreon and then yes it's going to be from sponsored ads that we do in the video from third-party companies like yes. blue apron please please blue apron please I'm, I'm begging you i want that free i want that free uh filet mignon what money. if they just send you a blue apron and that's it? Just an actual blue. It doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> even say blue apron on it. It's just a blue apron. 
I'll still wear. No, there's it no I tags. Play. It won't. Even, it doesn't even say where it was made. What it's made of. Can it's Omaha, just a blue Omaha, apron. Wear can a blue apron Omaha for his States. cheese reviews. We need to finish our 2020 thing. <laughs> Keep yes. going. Yes. Uh, March. Uh, coronavirus. Coronavirus. In March, April, nothing really happened. It just continued the coronavirus. Or was April the April, April was like, what, everything closed? Murder Hornets. Was April? Oh, yeah. When was Murder Hornets? When did there, were only, there, there were only like two. Like, yeah, but everybody still cared way too much about it. So it, April was like on the list. Well, and then April, everything was just closed down. Yeah. Yeah. No. Bees favorite, had, April. Did B March? In April or was that March? Or uh, I mean May? No, it was April. April was the bees. Not the bees. Well, uh, Hornets. Technically, May May was. Uh, I, I'm gonna say the Karens. Rise of the Karens. Yeah, because everybody's complaining about. Oh, God, that Karen. I'm still conflicted. So angry. Yeah, the I'm conflicted the on that. Was, uh... If you worked retail, if you or if you worked retail, you're gonna fucking hate them. <laughs> oh, I. Oh no, I, I, I definitely retail. know. I, I was a. Uh, I understand. I was one of those. What do they? What do they call them at Walmart? The guy that stands at the door with the little receipt checker. I was one of those for like uh, four and a half, five people months. People greeter. Yes, that's literally the worst job you could have at Walmart. Everybody <laughs> fucking hates you because <laughs> you just greet okay. people. It's not like no, people are going to be no, 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 in your no. face. So you know at Sam's Club where they have the person checks the receipts, and technically because you signed a legal agreement with Sam's Club, you do have to let them check your receipt, right? Yeah. Yeah. Walmart is starting to do the same thing, but because you did not sign any sort of legal agreement, you aren't paying a subscription service, they don't, you don't have to let them check your receipts. When, you at, when the person standing at the front says, hi, may I check your receipt? You can say no. But everybody, everybody is such a fucking asshole about it. They're <laughs> such fucking pricks. Because 95% of the time, they don't know that they can say no to it. It's like, I don't even have to fucking check my receipt. And they've got like three little six-year-old kids standing right next to them and are cussing at you the entire time. It's like, okay, have a nice day, ma'am. Fucking terrible. And then the people that do know, the 5% that do know that you can say no, is like, no, go fuck yourself. It's like, what the Thank you. Buddy, thank thank you for doing your research. Just, just be a little, a little nicer next time. <laughs> Honestly, here's, okay. So whenever I deal with a whenever I deal with a person, I want everything to go cleanly so they'll leave. Like I never yes. go. Oh, I wish their card cancels because then there's going to be bitching at you for the entire time. Uh -huh. Yeah, pretty uh -huh. much. I'm like, uh, as a cashier, I can speak from experience. Here's another thing I hate. Since I work in the gas station of a Walmart, I'm basically my own personal Bellathor. From Skyrim, I <laughs> people don't care. You so, sound like you never get to the cloud district too often. No, that was Nazim. <laughs> <laughs> Belthor was, oh, come in, come in, do look no, around. A lot of the times, here's here's why I don't like selling lottery tickets because what they'll do is they'll get like a bunch of them and then they'll just scratch them off right then and there and then come back and then just keep buying. Even if they don't win anything, they'll just keep buying. And they'll do this for like an hour. Gambling that is kind of the point of lottery cringe. tickets, though. So it's just that, like... That's like literally what you're supposed to do. Is you're <laughs> supposed to get people hooked on buying lottery tickets so that you just make money on, on lottery tickets. Yes, but I'm not making money, so go away. Right. No, <laughs> exactly. I, 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 get, I get your point. I understand you in this entire situation. I'm just saying, it's like, yeah, they're, they're designed to make you suffer. No, here's, here's another bullcrap thing. Uh, Walmart has this fifty cent, uh, fifty cent off deal if you buy two Marlboro cigarettes. Like That's two not packs. a lot of savings, though. Two packs, and I'm sitting here like, <laughs> All. I'm sitting here like Walmart, because on their on the paper it even says great up sale opportunity. It's like uh -huh. Walmart. You, I thought you were supposed to be with people who's pissing. Oh, I was just dumping out water. Oh. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm gonna load in the okay. Toilet. Okay. Now, what happens in June? <laughs> we got to continue this. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah uh, June is literally the, what uh, we're wait, 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 God dang it! I was gonna tell my story. <laughs> tell your story about the cigarettes, and then we uh, need to finish this, and then no other side stories. Walmart. Walmart needs to stop with the with the fifty cent off deal because the only people who even mention it to me, I forget about it most of the time. So when it, the right. only people who mention it to me are these fat old women, 
And they're like, um, what about the 50 cent off thing? I'm like, you're, I'm sitting here thinking you're paying for like $13.75 worth of cigarettes. And you think 50 cents is going to help you in the long run? I'm bruh. Fuck off. Bruh. It's literally they a way to bring up like, those little, uh, those, those voice thing, the voice recognition things. They burn out their larynx so long ago. What about like, my 50% off deal? What about my 50 cent off deal? <laughs> <laughs> I need my I need my nicotine. nicotine. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Palm balls are five dollars. I know. Oh, Oklahoma. you guys remember in, uh, in, in Missouri they're three seventy seven. <laughs> oh shit. Mm. Okay, Tim. Hey, you guys, go, uh, and then nothing else. No, you that's go, what I was going to finish this thing. <laughs> You guys remember that guy who was running for a, some sort of election and his whole stipulation was free Paul Malls for everyone? Joe no. Exotic? <laughs> Cringe. Okay. Um, so we got past June. the Karen stage. June. 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 Race the riots have arrived. Yeah, that's race the war. That race war's on, everybody. Race war. Race war now. Oh, the protests have arrived. Yes. Race war. We can say race war if we want, but we need to say protest. We can't say rioters. And I yes mean, and no. I think it's like 50 50 at this there's point. There's like self protests and there's just shitload. Oh, oh, and I also, mean, also return to the roof Koreans. Yes, the roof Koreans. Yes. And now, um, July. All right, well, what do you think is going to happen in July? Next month. Um, uh, economic depression. Yes, but did you guys hear that North Korea has blown up a joint... Um, they blew up something that both oh, yeah, they and blew the South up like Koreans a, use. It was like a military talks thing or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Korean uh, War II electric boogaloo? <laughs> North Korea blew up a joint. So, um, no, a, a, a okay, July, like, North Korean boogaloo. Oh, so it was confirmed that Kim Jong Un is in fact alive. As, I mean, if you want to say in fact yes, one hundred percent, then I'm going to say no. But yes, North Korea does say that Kim Jong Un is alive. Okay. Now August. August. Well, since World War Three is on the horizon, because China's going to back North Korea after North Korea was blown up this thing from that both of them and South Korea use whenever they have peace talks and whatnot, and of course America is going to support South Korea. Russia's going to be profiting off of both of them, sending weapons and ammunition to both sides. Britain's going to try and find a way to nose itself into this, and of course Europe has to back Britain and America because they did so in the First and Second World War. So World War Three is going to happen. We're going to have this nuclear holocaust. So. <laughs> There is no August. <laughs> so, nope, uh, so, nope, nope. So, you're wrong. pack you're up wrong. your bottle caps, boys. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Okay, I what's know gonna happen? exactly what's going to happen. The Cold War will finally end. We, we're, we're still having a Cold War? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is news to me. <laughs> I mean, technically, we have a second Cold War going on. It's still communism China. versus capitalism. The only thing is communism yeah, we're not, is just in China. It's not in Russia we're not, anymore. We're not building nukes anymore, though. This, I mean, as far as you know. Well, I, okay, I'm sure we're still building nukes, but we're not building nukes to the same point where we're like, you know, quote unquote, accidentally leaking information about how many nukes we have just to rub it in the Chinese face. Whoops, I've dropped my paper that has a list of how many nukes we have. I sure hope there's no Chinese spies around to come pick it up. And then they walk away and go get a coffee. And then they get <laughs> that fart and then hope that the Chinese person hears it. Yep. Uh, September, if we, are, if we haven't said that already. September. No, we, uh, September. Wait, what did we even say for August? Nuclear Holocaust? And there's nothing <laughs> yeah. Uh, September. Um... Fallout happens. Uh, the farming revolution, I guess. Yeah, it's going to have to be some sort of farming revolution. Whoever like owns enough land, they're going to start getting invaded by people who need somewhere to stay because all of the major cities have been nuked, and anybody that managed to actually escape in time is trying to find somewhere else to sleep at night and maybe get a little bit of food and you know probably sell their bodies on the side because it's the only thing they're good for right now because who the hell needs an accountant after a nuclear holocaust? <laughs> 
Uh, November yeah. or October? Uh, November, the Enclave. Wait, no, we didn't do October. We didn't do October. October, the Enclave invade. No, October, um, zombie apocalypse. Oh, yeah, October, it's, it's the spooky month. We gotta have, like, skeletons coming alive and raping babies. Oh, God! I don't Earth know. Was a, a terror was a tomb world all along. How would, a, how would a skeleton even do that? It has no, like, pelvis. We were a, t- we were a tomb world all along. Necros- we were a tomb world all along. Necrons rise up. Is it just gonna bump you? It'll just, like, rip off its index finger or something and just, like, hold it, or, like, just hold its hand down there. Well, a it's, not about, it's not about the pleasure for the skeleton. It's about humiliating you. <laughs> I think it'd be more humiliating for it since it now has no finger, and you can't say, "Hey, pull my finger." Well, yeah, but you just got you just got overpowered by a fucking skeleton, dude. That's pretty yeah, humiliating. So of course they gotta like penetrate your anus just to so, get a little bit extra out of it. November, our Earth is a tomb world. Yes, uh, yes nuclear holocaust tomb thing. world. Um, Games Workshop will still continue rising their prices, but instead in dollars, they're gonna make you give them bread or something. Um, in November, the remnants of the United States government will attempt to unite everybody in some sort of giant Thanksgiving Day feast. But in all actuality, Start they're the leading us all there so they can kill us all and put it in the new Soylent Green, so the rich can continue to live until they all die of old age, which will probably be in the next like five to ten years. And the amount of people that actually survived after the nuclear holocaust will be just the right amount to put into the Soylent Green. So they can live that long. My my hands are so wet. And in December, the battle for Armageddon happens, which leads to Christ's return. Da 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 da. Book of Revelations. Yada, yada. Yeah, I think I think by December, Revelations is going to happen. So. <laughs> and that's 2020. Everything dies. Yep. That my I I do not see our government or any other government surviving until the end of 2020. If Revelation <laughs> happens, y'all better look out for me because I'm going to be doing cartwheels in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be um, like Metric Star. <laughs> man. So that's 2020. Yeah, so Everything goes wrong. That's, it's 2020. Yep. Yeah, nuclear or, holocaust, and then we start restarting society. Or in an alternate history, like an alternate timeline, balkanization happens. Oh, that reminds Balkan- me. That. Re- that is reminds me probably the best possible outcome. That reminds me, alternate history. You know, alternate history hub. Yeah, yeah. He did a he did a video on if Jeb won the election, and basically just turns yeah. into war. And it basically just turns into Warhammer 40k with Jeb as the god emperor and Ben Shapiro as Horus. Oh my god! But why would Ben Shapiro? Why would he? Why would Ben Shapiro betray Jeb Bush? Because Ben Shapiro is a Zionist. Oh, that's a good point. That is a guys, good point. Guys, the perfect timeline is Texanistan. Yes. This is true. This yeah. is very true. Yeah. Texanistan. We're going to make that a thing. Once well, balkanization happens, it, it that'll actually, be our uh, They actually did the math one time. And this was in our, because Texas has a Texas, Texas history class. So it was either 7th or 8th grade. Arkansas and, was uh, the same We have an Arkansas history class. Right. So, yeah, every state has their own little state history class. Anyway, so they did the math in Texas. And I think we, without trading with anybody else, we can survive for like five years on everything that we grow ourselves. Because we supply 25% of the nation's beef, I think. That's not bad. And we've got our own, like, potato farms and whatever else. That's America's and then, like steak. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so with the ports and what we've got and whatnot that we've got, we could survive a whole lot longer. I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty sure if balkanization happened, West Virginia is probably going to be meth city. Like, the, probably like meth city or something. Like that, where they just, just... Well... No, I'm just saying, like, they're going to dispense all the meth. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I think a lot of the, bad over here. Arkansas, pre or post uh, Boogaloo, it's gonna, nothing's going to change from it. Here's what's going to happen. People are going to try to invade, Walmart. and they're going to die from either, Arkans- from either Walmart militia, the <laughs> trees, like, the, the vast, vast forest Hunger Games-ass shit we have here. Or just, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what else. Walmart militia or nature. Honestly, Honestly Max, if you invade I'm going to be real. 
I've been to Arkansas several times, but me and a buddy, actually, there's a special uh, game goblin, so we like to go down there a lot. I'm going to be real honest with you. Arkansas has absolutely no idea how to make a road go over a hill. For whatever <laughs> reason, you guys only know how to go around, and I get carsick every time I go to Arkansas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we go around the hills. We don't what really happened to Virginia during the Boogaloo? Um, I think all of the deep blue states are probably going to just get turned into absolute cesspools. So you're going to go over there and it's like, what, did a nuclear blast go off? Oh, dear God, I live in Northern, oh, dear God, I live in Northern Virginia. I'm in that area. Dude, I'm, I swear, all, there's going to be so many refugees from uh, Virginia trying to go to West Virginia or invade it. And then right. you're, yeah, you're, you're going to get messed up hunters sitting there. I, I, live in Northern Virginia. I live in Northern Virginia. I'm fucked. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I live in a pretty um, good spot. I swear to God, it's gonna be like that. Uh, what was it? Finnish dude who got hyped up on so meth, so much meth that he blacked out. Yes, that or reminds no, me of uh, uh, adrenaline, wasn't it? That reminds me of my summer card game. Oh, speaking of card game, uh, I have my, I have Warhammer Munchkins with the Tau and Sisters of Battle expansion pack, and I have is Warhammer Munchkins a it is its own Munchkins game, correct? Like, it's not a uh, expansion. You don't have no, to have the base game? No, it's its own thing. Okay, that's what I thought. Because I saw the uh, the Tau and Sisters of Battle expansion pack, and I was like, oh, I thought it was more than that. So, yes, it is. Yeah, they have they have their own thing, and then there's the Tau and Sisters of Battle, and then there's the... and then there's the... Space Wolves and the... Someone else. And uh, Magnus is the Thousand Sons. Okay. I have the Tau and the Sisters of Battle for obvious reasons. Right. Yeah. And I also have the 40k Monopoly. Nice. That's a thing. <laughs> yeah. I think we should definitely do my idea with uh, playing board games with each other over a stream because I think that would just be so stupidly chaotic. <laughs> Dude, that would be fun. And we got yeah, we got we, we, we have to stream it on I Warhammer. Yes. Dude, yeah. We never finished uh, our conversation about the great value Warhammer Walmart. We need to make more. I have that. to do that one next because okay. we've gone over uh, like an hour and thirty minutes now. Yeah. Do that. Um, our great value Warhammer is our next big topic for our next episode. Yes. We all come together, and we need like a we need like a Microsoft document or like a make, like, yeah. Ooh. We need to make to make a cheap knockoff of Warhammer 40k, a cheap Walmart knockoff of Warhammer 40k with expansive lore. Yes, yes, <laughs> I would love that. All right, we'll see y'all next time. Sorry, I was dying in the background, and we lost Dave, <laughs> and we lost Dave, and and Dave oh. is kill. All right. Goodbye.